In order to become a profitable trader, you need to master that particular strategy that works in each pair or market that you trade. It is true that some strategy works in all the markets but in most cases, trading strategy tend to have more win rate. In a specific pair or market, that is why it is good to have and know the exact strategy that works in the pairs or the market you are trading. A trading strategy may be working in Forex, but when you try to use it in other markets like stocks and crypto, it will give a different result. Welcome back to another video where I show you this profitable trading strategy for Binance Future Trading. Just before we start, let me remind you that if you like this type of content and you want to see more, give this video a thumbs up below, I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, be sure to click on that red subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you get notified when a new video pops up. With that said, let's jump right into it. With this strategy, you can make around 5 to 6 trades per day and this strategy has the potential to turn $100 into $71,000 in one month. It involves using two different indicators and a 10x leverage. I will show you how to use this strategy step by step so it's very important that you watch the entire video and follow each and every step because if you miss one of the steps, there is a high risk that this strategy will not work for you. So now let's go through the strategy step by step. The first step is to switch from candle to hiking ashy chart. Hiking ashy candles make it much easier to identify trends in the market. In a strong uptrend, there are two main things you'll want to look out for on the hiking ashy candles. The first is a large green body. For those who are new to using candlestick charts, the body is simply the thicker part of the candle and the wicks is the very thin part on the top and bottom. So when we see a large green body on a hiking ashy candle, this indicates that we're in a strong uptrend. And the second thing we'll look out for is no lower wicks on these green candles. Both of these criteria occurring together indicate a strong uptrend. Similarly when looking for a downtrend on a hiking ashy chart, we want to look out for one large red candle bodies and two, no upper wicks on these candles. Both of these criteria occurring together indicate a strong downtrend. The next step is adding indicators to the chart. So click the indicator button in trading view and search for EMA then click the moving average exponential indicator it will be added to your chart. Then go to the settings and change the length to 200 and then change the color to blue. You can pick any color and I prefer to make the line a bit thicker. Remember that we still need to add another indicator to this chart but I want you to notice something on this chart. When you study this chart closely, you will see that whenever the a candle closes above the 200 exponential moving average, the price tend to go up and that the moving average starts acting as a support level whenever there is a pullback in market. As you can see, this happens almost all the times. The same thing applies to when a candle closes below the 200 exponential moving average. The price tends to move on a downtrend, and whenever the market touches the moving average, it will act as a resistance level. So for this strategy, we enter or buy long whenever the price is trading above the 200 exponential moving average, and we sell or short whenever the price is trading below the 200 moving average. So now, let us add the second indicator which will help to determine our entry and exit position. Click the indicator button again and search for stochastic RSI. Click on it and it will be added to your chart. The stochastic RSI is a technical analysis indicator used to identify market trends. It is often used to identify potential entry and exit points as well as price reversals. There's a few quick changes I'm going to make to this indicator. So let's do that now. So click on the settings to bring up the settings window, untick the box labeled background, so that we can remove the background on this indicator, change the colors of the upper and lower bands to white. And then click on the icon next to the color and change it to a dotted line. Leave the upper band at a value of 80 and the lower band at a value of 20. Finally, we're going to increase the thickness of the percent %K and percent %D line, so that they are easier to see on the chart. For their inputs, we'll be leaving them at the default values of 14, 3 and 3. 
If you followed along then your stochastic indicator should look something like this. The stochastic is made up of three main components, we have the percent %k line, which is this blue line that you see moving up and down in the indicator window. We then have this orange line along the side, which looks similar to the blue line but appears to be moving more smoothly. This is called our percent %d line. We then have these white dotted lines at the top and bottom of the indicator window. These are called upper and lower bands. The upper band helps us determine when price is moving into an overbought region. And the lower band helps us determine when price is moving into an oversold region. What it means is that, whenever the blue and and the orange line is above the upper dotted line. But we can say that the market is overbought, and and whenever the blue and orange line is below the lower dotted line, we can say that it is oversold. So for the first step of this strategy, we're going to need to identify a marker that is currently in a trend using the 200 exponential moving average. This means that if we're looking to take a buy trade, we'll need a market that is currently above the moving average. And if we are looking to take a sell trade, we'll need a market that is currently below the 200 moving average. The next step is to determine when we enter and exit a trade. For a long position, whenever the price closes above the 200 exponential moving average. The next thing to look after is the stochastic RSI to go oversold, then wait for the blue line of the stochastic indicator to cross the orange line and a bullish hiking ashy candle that bigger than the previous. Enter your trade and take profit at 3% and stop loss at 1.5%, and as you can see this trade is a win-win. Here is another overbought signal in the stochastic indicator. Wait for the blue to line cross the orange line and a bullish hiking ashy candle. Enter your trade, take profit at 3% and stop loss at 1.5%. And as you can see, we have another win. And then after a few trades stop trading because it's getting riskier and riskier. And we only need to make 5 trades per day. So there's no stress after the crossover, we can stop trading after a few trades and wait for another crossover. The same thing applies to the sell position, wait for the price to close below the moving average, and overbought at the stochastic. The blue line crossing the orange line and a large bearish hiking ashy candle. Enter your trade, stop loss at 1.5% and take profit at 3%. The next step is knowing the potential and using the right leverage. As you can see in this profit calculator, if we start with 100 US dollars, and we have a win rate at around 65% and taking profit of 3% and having a stop loss of 1.5%. And we make 100 trades in a month. That's an average of 3 to 4 trades per day. And using a 10x leverage, we can actually make over $70,000 per month with this strategy. That is it for today's video. Thanks for watching and before you go don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe and turn on notifications for future videos.